let's explore the people area. So you can see right off the bat, it does tell me that there is two people in this room. I can click in and see who all is in this room with me. Uh, it shows me the roles of the different people in the room. And I have a few options when I click the three dots beside their name. Though I will note one thing that's nice is you can tell right away if someone has their mic on. In my case, you can see no one in this room has the mic on because the mic has a line through it. But if someone was to turn on their mic, it would actually show the mic symbol actually on. Now, let's say someone's turning on their mic and I don't want them to. Maybe it's getting distracting. Maybe they forgot and walked away. I can click the three dots beside their name and mute that participant. I can even disable their mic or their camera if it's an attendee. And a few other things we can do is pin their video. This means this would be the main video I would see. So if that's the person I want to follow along, maybe they're presenting and doing a demonstration. I might want to pin the video so I see them large compared to everyone else. I can also spotlight the video so that basically pins it for everyone. And I can also change their role. So maybe in my meeting options, I chose only I could present. Well, if I make the person a presenter, now they're going to be able to present as well. I can even kick them from the meeting if I have to, though hopefully that never happens to you. We can also look in the participant area. I can overall disable the mic for all attendees and same with camera. As we saw before, I can download an attendance list. I can even lock the meeting. If I don't want other people being able to come in after a certain point, I could lock the meeting down. I also want to take a quick second to point out the reactions. You can have students raise their hand. So maybe you want to run this like a in-class section where you're getting people to raise their hand so you can finish your thought before you call on them. Well, if my student raised their hand, I would see the symbol on their icon. I would see it in the people area. And if they had asked their question and maybe forgot to lower their hand, I could go in and lower it for them. There's also the reactions, things like the thumbs up, quick way to get a read of the room. You come back from a break and ask people, are you ready to go? Or how is everyone feeling about that concept? You get things like a thumbs up, you get them to give a round of applause for a guest speaker, things of that nature. And hopefully this helps.